Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff from Lucky Nelson's. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're considering having us provide you with our sawmill services. Now, since we charge hourly, we put this video together so we can try to save you time and money by being prepared for when we show up. Now, these are what we call bolsters. This is what we'll stack the slabs on. We've already stacked these evenly. This is stacked even with this and which is stacked even with the end so that the slabs all lay perfectly flat and then they don't twist to conform to the bolsters that we have already on the ground. A little trick that we use to get the bolsters even with each other is we get a long string and we go across from one bolster to the other and we make sure it's touching all three at the same point and the middle one's not any higher or any lower and that's just a quick way to make it even now here we have the slabs we're going to stack these are two and a half inch thick black walnut slabs and they're 11 foot long. These are called stickers. We cut these out of our own logs. These are one inch by one inch. That's pretty much ideal. Um, but like three quarter inch by three quarter inch or something close to that would work well too. Um, you can get furring strips from Lowe's, they work good, or if you have extra material, we can cut them out of your logs. These will be placed across the slab to make sure that the slabs get airflow and can dry out properly. We'll put stickers over each bolster and also about every 18 inches to 24 inches. Also, you want them to be the full width of the slab. As you can tell, we put the stickers over top of the other stickers. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, sometimes when we're doing dimensional lumber, we'll stack multiple pieces across the width and we'll use the same sticker to go all the way across the width of many pieces. Um, yeah, so uh, we look forward to helping you with your sawmill project.